everybody, it's Emily with Love in the Shoebox and I have another video for you today. Today we are unboxing a girls 5 to 9 um, Wonder Woman slash superhero box. And I did one of these last year and doing two of them this year. I think I'll always do one because I, they're so much fun for me. This is the top of the box. Um, you can see I put some superhero valentines. These were 10 cents just to decorate the lid. And then the inside of the lid looks like this. And on the top, she has a washcloth. I almost always put my washcloth on the top because it just makes more sense to me for packing. It just works for me. Some people put it on the bottom. And then when she opens it, this is what she'll see in this one. So on the very top, I have Wonder Woman. And I believe Kim found these on sale at Walmart. I don't know how much she got them for, but they were during um, one of the toy clearances. I'm, I'm guessing around $3, but I'm not sure. But they were definitely clearance, both of the dolls. So here's Wonder Woman. And here is Supergirl. And I had both of these dolls also in my Wonder Woman box last year. And then she has an organza bag, and inside the bag, it's a red bag to match the color theme, and inside the bag are two pairs of underwear. And then I have another little blue bag, and inside this goodie bag are just little trinkets. She has a red and green sparkly bouncy ball, two of them. These were from Walgreens, 90% off. No, I think I got them 75% off. Anyway, they were very inexpensive. You got a whole little little container full of bouncy balls. And then these little spiky balls, they came from, um, I think, an after Christmas goodie bag from Walmart, one of the little party packs. It's either that or Valentine's Day. I don't know which one that came from. And same with this. This is a little kaleidoscope and this came in one of the party packs after Valentine's Day sale very inexpensive lip whistle all these Valentine's clearance for you think you got like eight of them for 75 cents and this is a compact mirror and it was a 25 cents after Christmas Walmart clearance and down in here she has, it's all wrapped up in this plastic baggie. This little baggie came in some of the packs of clearance valentines that I picked up. And I like to put my chapstick in baggies just in case it would get hot and melt. That way it wouldn't ruin anything else in the box. And the valentines baggies in some of them had like a little sticky thing on the top where it would seal it. So I just put this in, rolled it up and stuck it. So anyway, something to do with all the little baggies that came inside the Valentines, if you got those kind of Valentines. Okay, and then she has, and I was really happy to finally get this marked down. Um, she has a Wonder Woman dress, and these have been at Walmart since September, and I've been watching them since, um, you know, September, and they were originally $15, and they went down to $5, and this is a 7-8, and they, I knew when it hit $5, it stayed at 9 for quite a while, that um, it was not going to, they were going to sell out for 5 So they weren't going to get any cheaper in my area. So I went ahead and picked it up. So she has this really fun Wonder Woman dress that she can wear um, for dress up. Or just, I mean, it is actually made as a dress. So it's not just, a, it's a little better than the costume. Anyway, um, this was an exciting find. I was so happy that there was one in an appropriate size. I could put in this box and I put it in a Ziploc bag and squished it down. Fits a whole lot better. If you have something that's fluffy and bulky that has air in it, you can put them in Ziploc gown size bags and they fit in the box a lot easier. Okay, she has a red and blue toothbrush and this was actually donated by somebody that donated just stuff to put in boxes. So I don't know where she got it from, but it's a red and blue toothbrush. She has a hat, and I put one of these in the box, in my Wonder Woman box last year as well, because it just reminded me of girl superheroes, 
It's very sparkly and like navy blue with the lightning bolt on it. And this was Walmart clearance, um, I think $2. So it's just really pretty. I liked it. So that's in this box. And if you're hearing weird noises, they're doing road work in front of my house. So yeah, it's kind of loud. I waited till they quit, but it sounds like they started back up. I got this little notebook and it was Valentine's clearance and I think it was 90% off and I think I think it was just 10 cents and it's just got blank paper inside and it has a bar of soap has a pencil bag. I found these last week at Walmart. They, you know, school supplies have been randomly showing up in the clearance aisle at the Walmarts around here for, I mean, a while now. It's just really wild. I don't know where they're coming from because I don't ever remember this even during the back to school time. But these bags were a dollar in the clearance aisle and I just thought that the colors really went with the girl's super, superhero theme. So I picked a couple of them up for my superhero boxes inside her pencil bag. She has this pen with the sparkly blue star. And this was clearanced at um, Dollar General after the 4th of July. And I think these were 25 cents maybe. I may have even gotten it for 10 cents. I got several of them. And then she has um, pencils, pens. This came 10 cents after Valentine's clearance. Really cute googly eye pen and some highlighters and three pencil sharpeners, a eraser ring, Dollar General after Valentine's Day clearance, and one of these cool erasers. That's one of the pack of a hundred that I got very inexpensively for like three fifty or something crazy like that when I found that at Walmart. So exciting. A couple more pens, so that's what's in her pencil bag. And she has a pack of colored pencils, a superhero coloring book. This I got last weekend at Dollar General for, I believe it would have been around 75% um, off because it was already clearance and you got to take an additional 50% off and it's just, it's just superhero stuff. She has a composition book that is blue glitter. Let's see if you can see. It's just really pretty. It doesn't look quite as pretty on camera as it does in person, but it's just a composition book. She has a jump rope. Got these last year. Walmart 10 cents after summer clearance. She has this necklace that was let's see if I can turn it on. Yeah, it flashes and just does different back off. Anyway, you just push the button back here and it lights up. These were clearance at Walmart after Valentine's Day. As you can see, they were originally $4. I got them for a quarter, so I bought several. And then same with this necklace. This was also clearanced I think at Walmart. If you push a button on the back, it lights up. It's like a 4th of July, but it really, this 4th of July stuff really works with the Wonder Woman Supergirl, those colors, that theme. I think this just goes off on its own eventually. Anyway, this was a quarter as well. She has this superhero girl shirt, and Kim ordered this. Um, it's a 7 8 as well, and it just says Girl Squad, and it has, it has Wonder Woman and Supergirl and several of them on there. So, thank you, Kim. Kim always makes my boxes amazing by finding stuff. She has a slap bracelet that is sequins, blue, and gold. She has a Barbie outfit that says Supergirl that she could change one of her dolls into. And she has this build your own bracelet bead kit that we got for I think a dollar. It was originally five after Christmas Walmart clearance and it has like beads with letters on them. She has this headband with the stars that are um, silver and red and blue. And this was after Valentine's Day clearance, Walmart a quarter as well. And lastly, on the bottom, she has 
These came in Valentine's. They are superhero tattoos. And that is everything in that one. Um, the coloring book does have 30 stickers in it. I probably will try to put some more stickers in this box because I like stickers. That's the only thing that I will probably still add to this box. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know what you're doing. I love your comments and I hope everything's going well for everyone. Thanks again.